everybody, I'm Nitin and today in this PSLE 2017 Paper 2 question series, I'll be going through question 13. In my channel, I'm to help all of you master all those concepts out there, okay? So let's jump straight into question 13. So this is question 13 and this question is a pretty hard question for some of you. And as you can see, this question is using the grouping method again the grouping concept so as you can see grouping concept does not apply to easy questions but it can also be applied to hard questions like this okay so this is the question and let's read the question first gopal and henry were paid a total of 300 uh, sorry three thousand eight hundred and fifty dollars for a job they did gopal was paid two thousand and thirty dollars more than henry so part a how much was Gopal paid for the job? So we are going to do part A first. So before that, let's highlight. So Gopal and Henry were paid a total of uh, $3,850 for a job they did. So Gopal was paid. This whole line is really important, okay? So part A, how much was Gopal paid for the job, okay? So this is the question. Okay, so I hope you understand what the question is asking us. Okay, so we are going to use the model method as well, right? So we are supposed to draw a comparison model because Gopal had $2,030 more than Henry. Okay, so we are going to use the comparison model. So this is Gopal. He had $2,030 more than Henry and they had a total of $3,850 so they are will pay. So this is the difference, okay? So I hope you understand that. So in order to find how much was Gopal paid, right? We need to find $3,850 and we need to know Henry's salary in order to find Gopal, right? So now we are going to use something called putting play doh and cutting off with scissors so play doh or clay whatever you like okay so just take it as putting play doh over here so i'm going to make henry into gopal salary so i'm putting another two thousand and thirty dollars more okay so i'm putting play doh into it so when i put play doh gopal and henry will become the same right so I can pay, I can take 3850 plus 2030 divided by 2. So and using scissors is basically like if you want to find this if this were to be one unit right and they are telling us to find uh Henry's Henry's salary right uh it will be really easy because we are using the scissors and cutting off Gopal's salary over here. So I'm taking 3850 minus 2030 divide by 2 so this is basically how the scissors and play-doh method work okay so i hope you understand that so the for part a this is basically what we do so i'm taking three thousand eight hundred and fifty dollars plus two thousand and thirty dollars divide by two because that when we add it right gopa and henry become two equal units they have the same amount so his Gopal salary it is $2,940 okay so I hope you understand this so now let's read part B Gopal and Henry were paid based on the number of days they worked Gopal worked three times as many days as Henry so Gopal was paid five dollars more than Henry per day how many days did Gopal work okay so since Gopal was working three times as much as Henry so basically they are telling us they were paid based on the number of days they work right so Gopal worked three times as many days as Henry right so that is why Gopal got more money each day so Gopal was paid five dollars more than Henry so Gopal was not paid five dollars he was paid five dollars plus Henry's amount because it's five dollar more than Henry, so they are asking us how many days did Gopal work? Okay, so I hope you understand what the question is asking us. 
okay so this is where we are going to use the grouping method the grouping concept okay so um we have we know the model over here right the gopal has two thousand nine hundred and forty dollars and then henry has we do not know henry's salary right so let's go ahead and find henry's salary so far so henry's salary is three thousand eight hundred and fifty minus two thousand nine hundred and forty dollars because i'm taking off gopal so i can get henry so you give us nine hundred and ten dollars so we know that Gopal worked three times as much as Henry, right? So we can take it as three units of Gopal. It is 2,940. And we can take as one unit of Henry because he only worked one time. So one unit of Henry, it is $910, okay? So three unit of Gopal salary, it is $2,940. And then we find one unit, which is 2,940 divided by three, which will give us $980. Okay, now we can apply the grouping concept. First, we find the difference between one unit of Gopal salary and one unit of Henry's salary, which is $910. So it's taking $910, right? So I'm taking $800, uh, sorry, $980 minus $910. Okay, so you will give me what amount? Okay, you will give me $70. Okay, so I hope you understand this. Okay, so it gives me $70, right? Now I can use the grouping concept. So the grouping concept, I'm going to apply it. So, how do I apply the grouping concept? So, they're asking us how many days did Gopal work, right? So, the number of days in one unit is basically $70 divided by $5, right? Which will give me 14 Because Gopal worked more than Henry. So, $5 is the more and this $70 is the more as well. Okay? So, that is why I'm taking the big difference divided by the small difference, which is 5 dollars so we are also using the big difference minus small difference which is 14 so that's 14 right so the number of days gopal worked was basically 14 times 3 because gopal worked uh gopal worked three times as much as henry right so i'm taking 14 times 3 so the answer it is 42 okay the answer it is 42 so i hope you understand my explanation for this question 13 parts A and B and thank you and bye bye I'll see you in my next video bye